Do you think positive emotions boost company profitability and individual health? Hi, this is Mahesh, the Chief Happiness Officer at Inspire to Aspire Consulting. And today we are going to be talking about positive emotions and well-being. So what are positive emotions? Positive emotions are not simply happy feelings that we chase to feel momentary pleasure. These play a significant role in everyday life and allow individuals, communities and societies to flourish. Some examples of positive emotions include gratitude, serenity, interest or hope. These are some examples of positive emotions and we need these in our lives. Barbara Fredrickson, a professor in positive psychology, uh, she writes in her book, Positivity, that we need to experience more positive emotions. Most human beings, we tend to experience more negative emotions and less positive emotions. Negative emotions like fear and anxiety, they helped our ancestors to survive. The fight or flight response triggered was necessary to escape from the danger of the predators. But today, that is one thing which we don't need to worry about. And yet, most of us, we're constantly living in fear and anxiety. And what happens after that? It leads to stress. So, explaining her broader, broaden and build theory, Barbara Prediction states that the benefits of positive emotions they may not be immediate, but they are worth the investment. Resources build up over time and they increase the individual's overall well-being. This forms a positive cycle. Increased well-being leads to more positive emotions, which lead to higher resilience, which leads to increased well-being. One study found that those who experience more positive emotions are less likely to become disabled or die in a two-year follow-up. It's not just a long-term health benefit. Positive emotions can speed up recovery physically and emotionally. In 2010, researchers invited participants to watch two films, a scary film which generated a lot of negative emotions like fear and anxiety. And then they randomly divided participants into four groups and showed them another film on contentment, amusement, neutrality or sadness. Those that viewed the film conveying contentment and amusement experienced quicker recovery. For example, lowered heart rate and blood pressure. Research shows positive emotions promote resiliency and ability to bounce back from negative experiences in life. Positive emotions prove extremely beneficial even on an organizational level. At BF Goodrich, researchers looked at the impact of a simple positive ritual like appreciation on staff productivity. Productivity shot up 300 percent with the introduction of an inexpensive praise and recognition program. Isn't that amazing? They even studied 60 teams and the kind of language that was flowing during meetings. The most successful teams, those that achieved outstanding results in profitability and uh, customer satisfaction, they tended to have the highest ratio of positive to negative statements made during their meetings. Just think about it. Just talking about positivity and using positive statements that express appreciation, approval or giving compliments can boost profitability in organizations. These are simple things that any manager can learn to enforce in organizations. Positive emotions also promote innovation. For example, joy broadens our creative urge to play and to push the limits of what is possible. Joy promotes creativity, contributing to organizational success in the long run. Positivity doesn't just change the contents of our mind. It widens the span of possibilities that we see. Dear friends, 
positivity is the world's most underutilized naturally occurring resource available to fuel success and forward progress. Michelle Gillan writes, if you want to use the power of positive emotions to promote success at your school, at your organization, check out our well-being and positive education workshops. Subscribe to our channel for more videos about whole person well-being, peak performance, self-improvement and positive education.